Hello and welcome to Click Workshops. Uh, today we're going to go through service incidences and um, creating job sheets from there and adding action lists. Um, first things first though, we're going to set up our action list so we're all ready to go. And what you need to do is you need to go to settings and settings and you go to action lists. As you can see we already have one in here but I'm going to create a new one. It's going to be very simple. Uh, we basically click on new action list and we give it a short code. I'm going to call it GS for gas safety. Um, basically I'm going to just do a few questions on a gas, gas safety. Um, so there we go. Um, so we've got that sorted. Now all we need to do is add some questions or add some standard items to start creating our action list. So I'm going to go for a question. I'm going to add a new question. I'm going to say, is the gas boiler working? Question mark. And from here, what you can do is you can add a answer to the question by going to add item to select, add answer, and I'm going to put in yes, and I'm going to add another answer. I'm going to select that again. So you always got to set the question if you don't want to add another answer and click add answer. And I'm going to click on, I'm going to type in a no, obviously. So basically, what you've got is the gas boiler working, yes or no. Um, you can also add a standard item, could be anything you want. Um, I'm going to call it tested. Um, so you can say, is the gas boiler no? Is it tested? And then they can tick yes or something similar. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that that's available in the modules that I require. I'm going to put available in modules and I'm going to put it in a service incident and my job sheets um, because we're doing service incidences but I'm also going to show you how the service incident can link to the job. So I press OK. OK, press OK again. And it says do you want to save changes to action list? I'm going to say yes. And that's an action list created. Okay, so the next thing to do is we need to create a service incident. Now, the only way you can create service incidents at the moment is if you go to comms and new service incident. So if you click on here, you can go on to um, company, click on a company here, and then choose a site, and then choose a caller, and then a caller name, and then a telephone. Um, you've also got your lead engineers here for your particular incidences. Um, here you have your call date, your visit date, your complete date and your category. So you can choose any category. Remember you can create as many categories as you want. And you can also create a fault type. Again, you can create as many fault types as you want in your settings. Okay, so we've got the basics. We don't have a caller here, so I'm going to create a quick new one. So click new. And I've got a Bob. And we can give him a, a position. Um, a gas engineer. We can give him a telephone number. Okay, you can also give an address if you want. Um, I'm not going to do that at the moment. I'm going to just click main contact. I click save and close. And there we go, we have a caller. Okay, and you can put another caller name in and a telephone if you wish. Uh, you can do a description of the problem. Um, you can say um, boiler making strange sounds, something like that. And that'll be it. So you can just click save. And I'm going to put an action list now in here. So we've got equipment. You can add your equipment if you wish to. Um, you can add documents like you can do in other modules. Um, you also have your action list. And we're going to create an action list here. Just click on new. And we do gas safety. And we press OK. And as you see, uh, it's come up here. And we just literally click yes, no. And then now your what happens is it follows in sequence. So the next one is your standard item. And you can just click on tick and it will complete it. And it will tell you a complete percentage is 100%. Okay, so if we save that, um, we now need to make a job. So we have the service instant. We think, right, we need to create a job because we've got to go out on site. 
there's something wrong with the boiler um, so we need to create a job for this so we literally just click on job sheet here and then new and here you go so it brings up some information already it's brought down your fault code it's brought down your category and it would bring down your equipment if you selected equipment um, but it, what it has it done it hasn't done your action list because your action list might be different for the job but again you go to action list new I'm going to select gas safety again just so you, you see what it's doing um, and again you can just put your answers in tick the box and complete so that is it for service incidences um, and action list and a job sheet thank you very much bye